ultimately, uh, it comes down over the next few weeks as to whether uh, the Greek debt and the Greek standoff, uh, wh whether or not it, uh, the Greeks want a significant restructure of their $300 billion plus euro debt. Uh, the Troika does not. And so the Troika believes a write off you know, prim is primarily government and supranationally owned debt. Uh, they believe that'll set a precedent for other peripherals. And the Greeks claim that the write offs in many countries are inevitable. Um, actually, I think, and I, I'm on the side of the, uh, the Greeks here, the Germans are being disingenuous with their portion uh, of, of the debt because they've had massive restructuring of their own debt after World War I, then after World War II, when an accord in the early uh, 1950s reduced their debt from 100 to 20 percent of GDP. So the German example, uh, of, of which they claim you know, should not be applied to the Greeks, has been uh, their historical experience over the past 100 years. Well, Bill, to that point, Germany has shown no willingness to undertake a, a Marshall Plan-like solution for the, the, the situation that the Greeks confront. If that continues to be the case, again, the focus will shift to Draghi. Uh, there's much expectation that the Greek crisis is, go is going to test Draghi's resolve to backstop the rest of peripheral Europe. Does that create some trading opportunities? Yeah, I, I think it does, and I think that's what we're seeing this morning with uh, the hurricane that I uh, suggested in the eye of the hurricane. You're seeing massive support uh, behind the scenes, of course, uh, on the part of the ECB. You're seeing massive support by the Chinese in terms of their stock market. Uh, you're seeing basically central governments throwing everything they have at the markets and keeping them calm. Uh, ultimately, though, uh, you know, Draghi has to wonder whether the purchase of uh, Spanish debt and Italian debt, you know, leads to the same type of conclusion down the road as what perhaps is beginning uh, with, the, with the Greek example. The ECB is owed, as I've mentioned, over 100 billion euros by uh, the Greek banks, which uh, you know, appear to be in, insolvent. And to the extent that they continue this uh, program of ELA for other peripherals, then you know, perhaps down the road you have the same situation. So the, the uh, Eurozone, uh, the uh, Euro Union, you know, certainly is at risk here in terms of their arrangement uh, with a central bank that, that at some point has uh, been unwilling to extend additional credit to one of their creditor um, and, and member countries, namely Greece. Bill, I, I have to jump on your point about Chinese stocks. It was back on June the 3rd that you tweeted up, up next the China Shenzhen index. You were talking about a potential short, but at that point you said not just yet. Did you end up shorting Chinese stocks? Did you get in in time to, if you will, enjoy the dramatic, breathtaking declines in volatility we've seen since then? Well, I did come public and say uh, short, uh, you know, the Chinese stock market through a, a Barron's uh, r recommendation that uh, that came public about four weeks ago. So I'm on record as, you know, having reached that point in terms of the Chinese stock market. Where we go from here, uh, since the market is down 20 to 25 percent from that point, you know, it's hard to say. Like I say, the Chinese authorities, through uh, increased uh, margin and through uh, increased regulation, lower interest rates, it's a, been a massive Massive support program for their uh, stock market, which supposedly the world thinks is uh, relatively insignificant. Uh, but I, I, I think it is important, and uh, you know I, I'm rather proud of that call, although I said not yet during the tweet. But uh, two weeks later, uh, in a Barron's article, I said now's the time. Bill, can I ask you one final question about Greece? How long can you run an economy like this without a functioning banking system? Well, I don't think you can, and, and that's why I, I think they have a week or two to, to settle this, and the arrangement has to be, you know, uh, coordinated with the ECB and with the EU, um, you know, within the, the Eurozone. You know, basically, to my way of thinking, uh, the, the zone as led by uh, Merkel and, and the Germans basically have to come to some agreement in terms of restructuring versus a write-off. Um, you know, to the extent that there's not a write-off, then the European banks and other institutions are safe from the standpoint of keeping their uh, debt uh, not only to the Greeks but to the you know the, the institutions the ESF and the, and so on you know on the books but um, you know to the extent that there's a, a restructuring that favors them to the extent that there's a write-off that does not uh, I think Greek will want a write-off I think the Germans and the uh, you know the EU will want uh, eventually a restructuring but it has to be done within the next two weeks July 21st is the key date 
uh, if the Greeks do not meet a 3 billion euro payment at that point, then basically the ELA, the $100 billion worth of funds you know, extended to Greek banks through the ELA, will have to be declared in default because the ECB cannot lend on defaulted uh, collateral. Bill, very quickly before we go, is a Grexit, if you will, a, or a so-called Grexit, an exit of Greece from the Eurozone, your base case scenario for this country right now? Yeah, I think it is, uh, you know, 70 to 80 percent. And again, it depends upon whether the, the, the Germans are willing to, to concede that, uh, you know, perhaps austerity to the extent that they have um, uh, enforced it in Greece and to the extent that uh, restructuring or debt write-offs, you know, are a necessity in the next few weeks, which will be hard to agree upon with all the EU members. Um, you know, it, it's a German-led uh, decision. Uh, you know, they suggest that it's in the Greek hands, but I think it's in the German hands, and to the extent that the Germans are unwilling to come off of their position and to, to extend their marginal line, I think a Grexit is a 70 to 80 percent probability.